that that guy gives us are conditions and then three different levels. And then whatever move we want to do, we recognize that pressure. It might be, it might be forward pressure and I change the level, then side pressure and I grant it. Right? He might give me forward pressure and I'm like, oh, forward pressure, I'm going to go to a knee slide. And then I get to a knee slide and he chops me and it's like, oh, side pressure, I got to grant it. So these are all just plug and play. We can forward pressure, oh, don't have forward pressure anymore, now I'm going side pressure. We're only focusing on that side chop pressure right now. Raise your hand if you've never chopped anybody in a match before. You've never chopped their arm, right? Everybody chops in a match. So that's why Grammys are beautiful. If it was like 30% of the country chops in a match, maybe Grammys wouldn't be that big of a deal. Everybody chops in a match. So now this is what we're going to do. Okay, are you landing? So they're gonna, he's going to get in referee's position. All right? Now we're working on a little bit of speed. How many knees do I have to one side? Two, both of them. I'm not in referee's position. I'm right here, and I'm just hooking his hip. All I'm trying to do is help him get fast, so he's going to windshield wiper, feel the hole, feel the hole, his shoulder's going to drop. I'm going to keep my hip close to his hip, all right? And as he pushes off, I'm just going to pull. I just want to get him faster at getting across his shoulders. All right, come back up. And I'm going to do that a couple times. I'm going to be tight hip to hip. He's going to feel the hole, right? When he gets there, I'm just going to pull his hip. Getting to his butt. I want him to feel fast there. So I'm helping him. I'm giving him some training wheels. Notice my hip's close to his hip. I want you to wipe it from the hole. Pull his hip. Help him grab it. We're going to do a couple of those. Like that. After you hit about five of those each, what kind of pressure did I say we grab you with? Side. What kind of pressure did I say we grab you with? Side pressure. So that's going to be a chop. So he's going to be referee's position. I'm going to hook his hip. All right, this isn't going to be normal referee's position for us on top. But I'm going to hook his hip, and I'm going to make sure my hip's touching his hip. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop his arm. That's going to be his cue to fill the hole and fire off his left toe. So he's going to be set. I'm going to chop his arm, which is going to help him throw his arm through the hole, and he's going to grant it. Just like that. Go back set. I'm going to hook his hip. I'm going to chop his arm. I'm going to keep my hip glued to his, and I'm going to chop, chop. Just getting him used to feeling side pressure, getting the whole field, rolling across his shoulders, getting to his, getting to his butt. My hips glued. I don't want to look around the room and see guys doing it. I don't want to look around the room and see guys doing this. Okay? Thank you, Am I helping him at all? No. No, I'm not helping him at all. All right? I'm staying glued to his hips. I want to be tight. I want him to feel this position. All right? I chop. What if I follow the Grammy? What kind of pressure does he have now? See how those pressures can change real quick in a wrestling match? If you know what you're recognizing, then you're an animal on bottom. It's when we get on bottom and it's just like, oh, don't go to your back. That's not a good game plan. Anybody need to see that again? Hip hook, chop and pull. One more time. Okay. I'm glued to his hip. I'm hooking his hip bone. I'm chopping his arm, pulling his hip, helping him get to his butt. Control that position when you get there. Go! Yep. 